freak out when you still have food in here. You guys are crazy. A lot has changed since the last time I vlogged. So let me just fill you in on everything that's happened. About a week after Bacardi got back from the vet to get his laser treatment on his muscle strain and his stifle, Marco was being goofy out in his pasture. It was raining, the ground was slick. Well, actually it was like storming and so there was like thunder and lightning happening so I couldn't get out there to get the horses in because they were all running around like crazy and Marco slipped in the pasture his hind end just kind of like slipped out from underneath him a few days later my vet was out here and we ended up ultrasounding him and he tore his hamstring there's another muscle that was torn in his leg too so he basically really screwed up his Stifle. Marco went to the vet to get a week of lasers done. His leg responded really, really well to the laser. He's still on stall rest right now. He can have a little bit of turnout each day and he has some stretches to do every other day. He did them yesterday, so today is his like day off. And actually a few days ago, he got to start doing a 10 minute lunge every other day, which is great news because he's getting a little on the chunky side. Hopefully we can get that little pony back on track really quickly because I am without a lesson horse right now. I have about five sound horses in my barn. Well, Nelson's actually a little bit sound now. I lunged him yesterday and he looked pretty good, but he's had some like really bad bruising in his hoof from stomping at flies. So we ended up putting a front pair of shoes on him, but it was a little too late. So it's taken him some time to not be ouchy. Marco's out and I haven't had Nelson to use. Slew's been hurt for who knows how long now. Frankie, I think he's gonna have to retire. I have Kane, he's going really great, and for that reason I do not want to use him for lessons because he was a complete mess earlier this year. He's finally like all sorted out, like back to his usual self. And so I don't wanna use him for lessons and have all of that work go up in flames. I would use Kane if I was like really, really desperate, but like I'd really rather not. Aqua has been doing a couple lessons and I'm so proud of her because Bailey jumped on her for the first time yesterday and Aqua didn't kill her. Riley and her mom have been nice enough to let me use Flash for a lesson. We actually have another horse that's being boarded here now and her owner is super nice and she also offered her horse up for a lesson each week. So. We're making it work. It's a little bit of a struggle right now, but we're doing our best. Ripley left about two weeks ago. He found himself a home in Arizona with a family that's just gonna retire him and just like spend a lot of time with him and groom him and give him treats. For those of you that don't know, Ripley was a sale horse I had that injured his dispensary a year or two ago and he never fully recovered from it. So I finally made the hard decision to find him a home that would just retire him and give him plenty of attention. You have to think about what is in the horse's best interest and no matter how hard it is, like I was sad when he left, but no matter how hard it is, like the fact of the matter was that I have so many horses and so much stuff going on out here that, you know, he came in to get his feet trimmed and that's literally all I did with him. He's gonna get so much more attention. He's gonna be so happy. Bacardi's been lunging every other day and he has some exercises to do as well. And he did his lunge and his exercises yesterday. So today he just gets some turnout. And thankfully my vet said that he could have a couple hours of turnout now because at first he was just getting 15 minutes of turnout and I was like, this is absolutely not working for this horse so if there's any way possible that we can let him have a little more turnout if he's being good then like, can that please be okay? Because when I had to lunge him when he was only getting 15 minutes of turnout, that horse bucked like 30 times every time I lunged him and it was really, really bad and we were probably not doing his leg any favors so He's getting a couple hours of turnout now, and I know we're both very happy about it. <laughs> There's a spider web. Since Marco also gets a little bit of turnout each day, and they've been pretty well behaved together, I've been turning Marco and Bacardi out together. That way they can at least have a friend for a little bit because they've been on stall rest for Bacardi like two months now and Marco is probably about three or four weeks in the stall rest. I don't know. 
but like they are pretty much on stall rest and get like very limited turnout in the indoor so I figure at least they could have a buddy and it would make them a little happier but if they start to be mean to each other then they're gonna lose their buddy and they're just gonna have to deal with it because I have to deal with them being hurt because they can't be smart enough not to hurt themselves that's a joke I love them I won't hurt yeah, they pretty much just groom each other the entire time. Eat up, that's your breakfast. No. I'll go grab you a plate. No. Do you want a fork or a spoon no. to eat it with? <laughs> I'm gonna let Riley finish the last two stalls and then I'm gonna finish hay nuts and get the horses fed and then I just gotta sweep and do waters and then we're done with chores. That wasn't good. Uh, your <laughs> your GoPro is broken. It fell because I didn't know it was there. I'm just kidding. It's on the feed part. Flashy is a bug. Look at him. He looks like a little fly. He does, but he's not a. Once all the chores were done, Riley had her lesson on Flash. He hadn't jumped in a while, so I got on him first, but he was being really brave, so I didn't have to do much with him.
flash. Good. We ate a quick lunch and then I got on Geronimo. He's been doing really great and he's even started cantering under saddle. I've also been letting Riley handle him a little bit more and she even lunged him for the first time the day before. This was Geronimo's first ride in about a month and only his second time cantering under saddle. I also started two-pointing over a trot pole today so that when he does start jumping soon, it won't be such a huge shock to him that my position will change over a jump. Just let him watch because he'll rub his head on it. I thought he was going to eat it. He uh -oh. likes to scratch his face before he goes in. <laughs> His neck looks so massive from this angle. Have you been breastfeeding? So, I know I just went on about not wanting to use Kane for lessons in the beginning of this video, but Riley is an exception because she's a very quiet rider and she can get on any horse without making them mad. It's been really nice today. It feels a little bit like fall. I love it. It's like still very warm, but not humid. And we have a nice little breeze. I could not complain if it stayed like this for a little bit. The last one I'm riding today is Pablo. I wasn't really planning to jump him today, but he was being really good. So I decided to just take him over a few small jumps. Hi, freak. <laughs> Riley pretty much fed the horses all by herself tonight and I just sat around and ate some food because I'm hungry and I think I might just lay down in the grass and go to sleep. Well, Riley, don't walk him into me. <laughs> While we were letting Bacardi and Marco graze, the new boarder said that Riley could hop on our horse for a few minutes, so she got to ride one less horse today. Oh. 
all the horses are fed. I just turned Zora out. There's nothing left to do except to eat dinner and go to bed. I think I got sunburned today. I definitely, definitely have a farmer's tan. So that's cute.